What's missing from this bike? That's right, a crank set. Not any crank set, a Shimano crank set. Not any Shimano crank set, an Altegra Shimano crank set. Not just that either, it's 11 speed crank set. Ah, uh, guess what? This crank set is off this bike and why? Because it's been recalled. Yes, we'll review after this. Welcome to I Know A Guy Bicycles, hanging out with a guy. Hi, I'm Justin the Guy. Obviously I have a garage shop. Take scary out of used, one bike at a time. If you want to be kept up to date on the latest projects and topics, please like and subscribe. Welcome back to I Know A Guy Bicycles, hanging out with a guy. Hey, I'm Justin the Guy, and this is As The Wheel Turns, Sort of The Days Are Our Rides. Yeah, we're talking about the soap opera drama of, you guessed it, Shimano crank sets. Yeah, this is kind of a booger of a situation, and it's not a full recall recall, it's a volunteer recall, so don't get that confused. Yeah, look it up in the description. It's one of those things like, if you think you have a problem, or if you have this, you want to have it inspected. Anyway, I'm not going to go into the details of how lame this recall is, or how they executed it, but I want to put it in front of you to make sure that you are addressing a safety concern to your bike and it's a big safety concern it's a crank you have three points of contact on the bike your handlebars where your hands go on your butt where the seat goes and or other way around and your feet go on the pedals which are connected to what uh, the crank set and yeah if that crank set fails you can have a little bit of a scary hairy situation either crashing or extra damage, you know, it, the list goes on. And cycling is already scary enough as it is, as a danger, as a hazard. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. We have a great time. But at the end of the day, you want to be safe and take every safety precaution possible. That's why we wear helmets. You know, back in the day, we didn't. That was stupid because not all of us survived. But in any case, the crank set. Let's go over a few bullet points of this. Okay, general facts, they were 760,000 plus cranks built and sold worldwide. About 680 of them sold in the United States or Northern, Northern United States. And about 80,000 80, of those were in Canada. That's our rough numbers of actually selling these from, guess what, how back? Well, June 1st of 2012 to July 1st of 2019. Man, that's like seven years. Seven years for a run of componentry on Durace and Altegra crank sets, 11 speed. That's, that's what you need to take, that's your takeaway. Shimano, 11 speed, Altegra or Durace cranks. And they're gonna look like this. Take a good look. If yours looks like this, go have it inspected. Yeah, so there's a huge gap in range when these were produced. A good chance that these bikes have been sold multiple times as used. So those records are not going to hit, or information is not going to hit the original, well, the original owners, but not go down to the second or third. So it's going to be a bad outcome of trying to reach these individuals that may have these bikes. Yes, please, if you know somebody that may have one of these, let them know about this recall and have them have that crank set inspected. It is just the safe thing to do. It's just, I know it's a bummer, but in any case, there's a lot of them out there. A lot of them may have failed, but we don't know that. And the ones that have been failed have probably been replaced before this recall even came to conclusion. This recall came out of September of 2023. So there was that, what, four year gap after they were last produced until they decided, well, it was enough failure to warrant this Recall, anyway, the current status of the recall is still ongoing. You need to take that particular bike. You can take the whole bike. You don't have to take the crank off. Take the whole bike in with the crank. A Shimano authorized dealer, they will actually run the serial number and have that crank inspected. The failure rate on these are fairly low, um, but that's their initial wave. The real numbers, I'm not sure what's really gonna come out of this. But safety is number, a number one priority, right? So you want to make sure those are checked. The stinker of the thing is they're going to check them 
and they're going to say after six months to nine months have them checked again. This is a big pain in everybody's arse, right? It's just, okay, I got a crank set, I got to have double checked. Okay, just keep it simple. And don't hesitate to take it to your local Shimano dealer bike shop because they get a little kickback from Shimano for each time they check this, but it has to pass that six month period. But they do get a little kind of kickback, which helps them out in the long run. There used to be one back in the day in the 90s and it was a whole mess because those were actually replaced. We had to order all a bunch of parts and so forth. This is just a, a voluntary recall, whatever that may be, mean to somebody or whatever. But it does need to be checked, inspected. The likelihood of the, you know, these of being found are pretty slim. I did check my local store to have this one checked because I'm technically a guy at a garage and not a Shimano dealer. So I took my customer's crank set to a Shimano dealer to make sure it was inspected proper and have that serial number recorded. So if there's any issues down the line, there's actually a record of it. So what do they do in this recall? Well, they take the crank off, they take the chain rings off the crank arm itself, and they inspect the seam where they actually, the crank was put together, including the non-drive. Well, the recall on Altegra are mainly just the crank side, drive side itself, not the non-drive side, or the Durace one is on both sides. So that being said, the likelihood of the Altegra one is probably less, not, less inclined to fail, but the Durace ones may have a higher chance. I did ask the guys down at the bike shop and they said they had very few of these, but the ones they did have issues with were the Durace ones. So within six months, this is a six month update of where we're at today locally. I've seen several videos of several shops around the world, some in England and different climates. They've had a higher failure rate or, or some being sent back. Well, the fix is they'll send you a 12 speed crank set with 11 speed chain rings. Mm, that's kind of weird because from there on out, you're going to have to get those funky chain rings to go with the 12 speed crank set. Not the best solution, but it is a solution. And there's no cost, yes, to you, the consumer. And inspection, no cost to you, the consumer. But the bike shops do look at this as an opportunity for somebody to come in, bring in the bike to be inspected, and maybe find something else that needs to be addressed on your bike. That's their job. But in any case, if you're savvy of taking the crank set off, you can just take this, give it to your bike shop, and they'll take care of it for you. I will have links below for the Shimano recall and some other consumer report websites to identify and what to do. So if you do identify this crank on your bike, don't ride it. Definitely have it inspected. Even though you may not have had any issues before, most of the complaints from issues identifying it while riding is their shifting is getting really out of whack because it's delaminating and that chain ring is not lining up. It's getting kind of bumping into the trailer. That's kind of the feel of it. It doesn't sound like there's been any kind of reported injuries related to this, but come on, it's a load point. So it is definitely a risk. And if it does fail, where I've seen somehow they've blown apart in pictures, it, it could be kind of, de kind of catastrophic. Unfortunately, it's not a backwards recall. So if you had one of these replaced at an earlier time, if you don't have your crank set from that failure, I'd say seven, eight years ago, you're not going to get reimbursed. It's like pretty much from this point forward, and you're definitely going to have to have it checked out. So yeah, why bring this up? Well, six months later, it's kind of lost its steam, and we're going into the season, and I want to get the message back out there to check these, check your buddies, go on a group ride, and you see one of these on somebody's bike, say, hey, did you have those checked out? Just a courtesy, just to make sure everybody's safe. That's the bottom line. I just want people to be safe. Yeah, I've had several of these checked and none of them came back as warranted or damaged and so forth. But for me, I feel very much comfortable of saying after repairing the bike or selling a bike, like here's the receipt, here's the tracking number of it uh, through being serialized and so forth so they can get your information. That's great. It's just one of those things that we just want to make sure everybody's safe out there, right? It's just one of those things. But here's the nitty gritty piece of it is I probably think, well, what I think is Shimano probably dragged its heels on this like any company, you know, 
see you know see those shows of like uh oh american automotive where the recall sh crap show in the background yeah that's probably going in their office in japan like what the hell we're we gonna do with this oh uh, let's just kind of sweep it under the rug and i don't know m most of these big corporations are only gonna do it because they're probably gonna get their pants suit off of them but in any case it's kind of a double hit for Shimano right now, but it's just recently they reported their 2000, uh, 2023 numbers, which are down again, which it goes par for the course. Uh, big manufacturers are not going to be buying more bikes because they need to scale down because they built too many, overcorrected from the COVID. Therefore, companies like Big T has six years worth of supply. Yeah, that's one of those situations. Well, that's Rumorville anyway, but... They're not going to be buying more bikes with Shimano componentry. That's going to come across the board with Specialized and Pond and so forth, Giant included. So, looking at all those situations with double hit of like, you got to deal with this recall. They're not going to push this thing out months after the release date. So, if I had uh, a crystal ball, this is going to hurt for a long period of time, like the old Shimano recall back in the 90s, which technically they'll still take care of today, 30 years later, on those random bikes. Any case, yes, this is going to go on. There's no end date for this thing, but to be this first wave, we're not even done with the first wave, right? We haven't reached all those people that have this bike with this crank set on them. A lot of them are probably in the used market. So a lot of bike shops out there, when they're seeing these come in for their tune-ups or being refurbished or being sold, if they're a bike shop in tune to what's going on, they're going to catch it. But if it's party to party sales, they're not. So in that case, we need to put the word out. So if you're a bike shop owner, smaller independent bike shop, you know, you're my people. Yes, please advertise these recalls again. Throw it in, in an email list like you did originally. Get the message out there. Get those people into your store to have those checked. Go through that list again that you sold those bikes to individually that have the affected cranks on. You know who you are. If you've been in business that long, you're going to be sending that recall notice via email. Do it again. Make some videos. Get the message out there. Nobody should be hurt by this particular recall if it's done right, and it'd be a shame if we didn't do our valid part of trying to make that known in the community. So please, local bike shops, club leaders, all that kind of thing, the community outreach, please copy and paste the link to the Shimano recall and send it to your people to make sure they don't have this crank okay to identify the crank visually yes it's 11 speed with this little hollow hole thing here <laughs> that may have been a problem but i'm not going to that but what you want to look for in the numbers there's going to be a chart of numbers on that website and it's basically these numbers here on the back of the crank arm both crank arms that you can identify if it has been affected by that then you can take it into that Shimano dealer and they'll do the inspection for you Yes, it is kind of a pain in the butt, but you want to get it recorded. Why? You want to cover your butt. If you're selling this bike to somebody, you want to make sure it's checked. If you have this bike and something happens to you, you want this inspected, you want to have that number tracking like, I had it inspected and I got hurt. It's a liability issue. I'm not telling people to go out there and go sue the pants out of Shimano. They have enough claims as it is probably just being, being. But you want to definitely protect yourself and protect the riders in your club, protect your customers, protect your friends. It's all about protecting, right? We want to make sure this is a safe, fun experience for cycling in the community. And therefore, we don't want this little booger to cause any problems and have it inspected Good chance it's not going to have any issues, but if they have the Durace version of this, they probably have a higher percentage of failure rate. Unofficial, but from the horse's mouth, from a local shop, that's what they've seen. And what I've seen from other shops in other countries, when this first came out, they're like, well, this is our 10th one. Maybe humidity is the issue, whatever. We may never ever see the reports of why or how or how many or that case. That's usually kind of kept within house of Shimano. But we want to make sure we can do our valid part of getting the message out. And again, you've seen this on any of your friends' bikes. Please see something, 
say something. It could save a life and save a riding partner. We've already lost enough as it is in the years past. Something this stupid, we don't need to lose anymore. In any case, if it's beautiful in your neck of the woods, please go for a ride. Thank you for hanging out with me in the garage. And until next time, have a wonderful day.